So my boy THLC, once again, he loved the club, man. He loved to go out, especially he loved reggae. We went to uh, Jamaica Gold, man. We would go to Jamaica Gold all the time. Jamaica Gold wasn't nothing to see like actors, celebrities up in there. Standing in line at Jamaica Gold, you could smell the weed like outside, like reggae club. Anything goes pretty much in there. But just this one night, what was that? Uh, Omar Gooden from Baby Boy. He was up in there. Drunk as a skunk. But uh, who else? Wesley Snipes? Uh, what's the little short dude's name, man? Yeah. Man, I can't think of his name right now. I want to remember his name. I'll bring it up. But one of the dudes with us, um, I guess he kind of knew somebody that knew somebody from Omar Gooden's uh, camp. But well, Omar, was, he was very able to stand up. But, um, one of the times we went, that same dude I just mentioned that knew somebody that knew somebody from his camp. He, um, me and him didn't get along for a minute there. We had fallen out. And if anybody knows anything about falling out, when guys fall out, you see them over money or women. So, I'm going to say with this situation, it was the second of the two. And he's a little older than me. He didn't like the way I was programming. Me driving a Cadillac and doing certain things. So I felt as though he tried me. And I had just had to let him know where I was coming from. But um, we were at the club this time. While me and dude weren't getting along, he's standing next to me. This young lady, she was Asian. You know, she, she looking and I'm staring. You know, she pointed at me, told me to come to her. And I'm like, no, nah, you, you know, I point back like, no, nah, you come here. So she busted a beeline towards me. When she got close, oh boy was to my right. He tried to step in front of me. Yeah, he tried to cock block. She stepped around him and came to me, right? So when she grabbed my hand, pulled me out to the floor, and I looked back on my shoulder and gave him that look. <laughs> like, you should know, hi, I got a reputation, man. But uh, I was living a crazy lifestyle back then. Now I'm a straight up L7 type of guy living that square life. But um, but I got the number. I would say in the end, I'm not the guy to beef with. Can't win. But me and old boy, I went on a Fresh Out podcast. So Big Herc from the Fresh Out podcast says, uh, I got this guy here. He reached out. He said he knows you. And he was kind of like uh, verifying 
some of the stories I had. But um, her guy asked me, did I know the guy? I'm like, yeah. But no, but not too many people knew me and old boy had beef. And at the time he got out, we didn't get along. But uh, so Hurt gave me old boy's number. The first we did was talk that out. The situation in the past. So the first thing I did though when we talked, and I apologize for my part in that, regardless, that I felt as though I, I was responding to what he said, or what? It was, it was a done deal, you know, to me. And my book. You know, I'm, I'm programming different now, but uh, we still chop it up to this day, ma'am. Like I said, we chopped it up. Said, uh, you know, apologies on our on our part. But that's a done deal with that situation, me and old boy.